welcome back children to our third video for chapter 6 population density and today we are going to calculate population density if you remember in the introductory video i had told you that we will be needing maths this time right so this is the time now where your mathematical skills will come handy today of course the calculations are simple but we need to use our basic mathematical concepts here in geography right now you have this little use your brain power on page 39 use your brain power calculate the population density of area shown in 1 square kilometer area that mean the area is already given as 1 square kilometer area there are two figures a and b it doesn't tell us whether it's of india or brazil okay the formula to calculate density is density of population is equal to total population upon total area so area is 1 so a calculation will be much more simpler if it was 10 square kilometer then we would have to divide the total number of people with 10 okay but here it is 1 so there is no question of uh, much of calculations okay now what you need to keep in mind is the symbol that is used here the symbol used is one person that is the symbol for one person is actually equal to 80 people is given here okay one person is equal to 80 people here so each symbol you need to count the number of symbols very carefully otherwise if you add one or you write one less your entire calculation can go wrong and so we count the people with the help of pencil it will be easier for you to strike out as you count so we have one okay 1 2 3 4 in the first top 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 and 16 okay so you see basically there are 4 4 4 4 so 16 people are uh, symbols are there One symbol is eighty people, so sixteen symbols means sixteen into eighty. That makes it one thousand two hundred and eighty people. Area so a total population. Put it in the formula. Total population one two eight zero divided by total area. Total area is one. Okay, so our answer is one two eight zero. Brazil is not mentioned, so we will not write Brazil here. Okay, so just keep that in mind. Okay, Brazil is not really uh, uh, mentioned, so we will not take Brazil. I've written in the answer there density of population in a, right? Figure a is one two eight zero people per square kilometer area. Similarly, now you can calculate the density of population in figure b. Remember one symbol, eighty people. Count how many people? How many symbols into eighty? Divided by one, so the answer should be one eight four zero persons per square kilometer, right? So I'm sure you'll be able to do that. Talking about now, coming to the next part of this chapter, which is actually population composition. When we say composition, we are talking about what the population is made up of. What is it composed of? That means we are basically talking about the characteristics of the population. and what are what are the characteristics in the introduction of this chapter i told you the characteristics determines the quality of that population that is literacy employment standard of living whether they are urbanized or rural age structure is also important whether they are young population old population children okay so all these come as the characteristics or composition of population of a region the first characteristic or the first composition that we are talking about is the sex ratio now when you say sex ratio it is a total number of females per 1000 males so for every 1000 males how many females are there that is how we calculate the sex ratio right now this is the sex ratio a uh, graph of brazil on the x axis you have the years 1961 71 81 91 2000 1 and 2011 that mean the last census of brazil was carried on in 2000 actually they carry out every thousands so 2010 okay but anyway the figure here is 2011 that's fine 
okay on the y axis you get the number of females 900 920 940 960 so on and so forth now what you need to do is match for 1961 take the central point of 1961 touch it to the point where it coincides okay it's difficult with the marker but uh, i'll just try once again taking from here to 1961 now this you have to coincide with the y axis here little higher up in between more or less okay so that coincides with 1010 i have given you the readings here down as a legend okay for 9 uh, 1000 sorry in the year 1971 the population is 1009 in 1981 it was 1012 i've also written the data next to the point there now what you need to do is use a ruler use a pencil make a point okay uh, where 1961 the dot on the top matches with the y axis okay the coordinates i think you'll call it in maths so those points you'll have to find on y axis and check what is the data for that particular year in 1991 it is 1016 in 2001 it is 1020 and 2011 it is 1080 what does that mean it means the it will take the figure of 2011 in 2011 for every 1000 males there were 1080 females that means the sex ratio is very very high female population is very very high in brazil and right from 1961 we have seen it rising Okay, one thousand and ten, one thousand and twelve, sixteen, twenty, and eighty. One thousand and eighty. So sex ratio has been increasing in Brazil. That means female population has been increasing. What about the sex ratio of India? How does it look like? Okay. it's quite opposite to what we just saw in brazil in india in 1961 there were only 940 females for every 1000 males in 1971 it reduced to 932 females in 1981 it became 938 females per 1000 males in 1991 it came down to 930 females per 1000 males in 2001 it went up slightly to 938 and in 2011 <coughs> it's a little higher than the 1961 figure it is 950 females per 1000 males so nowhere in india a female ratio has ever been more than males okay which is which is a matter of concern what could be the reasons i'll be talking about that very very soon okay now uh, you have some uh, conversation that is going on between two children over there that's how you can write conversation for one of the characteristics okay which is not given i think it's somewhere on page 44 or somewhere wherever okay so this is how a conversation can be written okay so i told you geography is integrated so you need to have a mastery of a language as well as maths as well as science okay so everything combined so the conversation is between two children one is asking what does this graph show and the other child responds this graph shows the sex ratio of india and brazil what is sex ratio now that is a question which can be asked as a definition as well sex ratio means the number of females per 1000 males so it is evident now the child understands so it is evident from the graph that the number of women in brazil has always been more than men while in india it is just the opposite the number of female has never gone more than males okay that mean the women population is never Uh, uh exceeded the population of males in india female ratio is always less so sex ratio in india is very very less okay you can look at the figure the figure itself shows a huge after which year wa was there a tremendous rise in female population in brazil now please note there's a little mistake here okay this should be brazil and this is india so please kindly uh, make that uh, Uh, make a little change in your map okay so this becomes brazil and this one is india please make that change 
uh, there was a little mistake in the labels and I forgot to change over here. So what you see after 2001, there has been a tremendous rise in women population in Brazil. But in India, though it has increased slightly, but not significantly. Now, what is the reason for that? That is very, very important to analyze the graphs now. We just analyzed it. In fact, the sex ratio of Brazil has always been more than 1000 since decades, not just now. The number of women has considerably increased than men in Brazil. However, in India, men always have outnumbered women. In India, there is fluctuation in the sex ratio, slightly high, slightly low, slightly high, slightly low. Okay, and there has been a slight increase in sex ratio after 1991 but has never been equal to men or more than men so sex ratio in india is very very low this question came for 2019 uh, question paper for board exams and these were some of the questions both the graphs were given for brazil as well as india Observe the graphs and answer. What do the above graph show? Like the conversation said, it shows the sex ratio of India and Brazil always underline the main keyword. Which country have highest male population? India. Male population is India. Which country has highest female population? Brazil. Which country has rapid increase in female population after 2001? Brazil. From 19, uh, from 1030 or 50, they went up to 1080 females. What was the female population in India in 1961? It was 940 females per thousand males. That is the unit. Which country has more than thousand female population? That's Brazil. Okay, so it's very very clear that Brazil. <coughs> in Brazil, the number of women is much much more. What could be the reason? These are some of the figures of different years in India. Okay, in 1901, it was 972, quite good. 1911, 964, quite good. Okay, then we find a decreasing trend. Remember, till 1941, almost there were Britishers in India also. And what about the world? Talking about world, in world, this is the ratio of 2011. 984 for the world, China 926 female, which is low again. India 940, USA 1000, the remaining always have higher female ratio. Now, developed nations have more of female ratio. What could be the reason? Okay, this is a major question for us to ask. Illiteracy. Okay, that's the main thing. Illiteracy is the main reason. Poverty is another reason. So, in India, people prefer having male children, thinking that they will earn and they will take care of them, them in their old age, which is not the case in today's world. Okay, in today's India, the women are equal to men uh, and they too have they in fact they contribute a lot in taking care of their ailing parents okay or old parents not only that not just uh, that motive but also uh, f women today are much more educated as well and holding high positions biasness for male child in india india has always wanted male children okay if there's no boy in the family they consider it like a curse in so many uh, villages so biasness for male child is a major reason lack of family planning methods so when uh, they do not have a male child after two or three they still want uh, they still try for a male child so male biasness is a major reason for domination of male population in our country poor health of women in india male dominated society superstitions as well okay and uh, there was another thing which came to my mind uh, besides illiteracy poverty female infanticide okay that's a major reason again for the low female uh, ratio in our country when uh, the female fetuses are aborted and they are not allowed to they are not given a fair chance to be born so these are some of sad state of our country some of the reasons why the female population is low in our country okay in india number of men outnumber the number of women and in this condition uh, is this condition found in all the states of india Find out? No. K 
Kerala is the only state where the number of females is more than males. That is, the sex ratio of Kerala is the highest. What could be the reason? Literacy. Because Kerala is also the most literate state. 99.9 almost percentage of population in Kerala is literate. In fact, they had 100% of literacy. But I guess at present it's around 99 point something. Okay, and what is the government doing to uh, increase the female ratio in our country? Save girl, teach girl. Beti Pachau, Beti Padhau is the uh, slogan given to our country by our Honorable Prime Minister, Mr. Modi. Okay, so this is another very, very important step for saving a girl child. So with this, we stop and we'll continue in our next video. Take care, thank you and God bless you.